If I wanted a new grad ML engineering job, this is everything I would be doing right now. Uh, I make $180,000. How much money do you make per year as a software engineer? 500K. I have around three to four years of experience. My base salary is $157,000. My name is Dev, and in the past year, I've gotten offers from Amazon, Google, and top startups in the Bay Area. And in this video, I'm going over the five level pyramid to becoming an ML engineer. You've got to go in order because each level builds on the last and it gets more and more tricky. Only a few people get to the top without losing their mind. With that said, let's get started with level one, your projects. If you want a new grad ML engineering job right now, you can't just learn machine learning, you have to prove it. And the only way to prove it is with projects that make recruiters stop scrolling. But here's the problem. 99% of people are building soy tier projects. You know the ones. I built a classifier using Kaggle data and scikit-learn. Congrats, bro. So did 800,000 other people. Most people are collectors, but not builders. They hoard tutorials like Pokemon cards, but never teach any of them how to fight. You, you're going to be different. Because builders don't wait for permission. They take a paper, a data set, even an API, and just build something real. One of my students, Shaker, did exactly Exactly that. He re-implemented an LLM from scratch, documented every step, and then fine-tuned it. A few months later, boom, an offer from AMD. Another engineer I worked with, Chang, fine-tuned an open-source LLM. That project got him an offer at Amazon as an ML engineer. So don't just learn machine learning, build proof. And here's exactly how I do it. Start with these three projects that vary in difficulty. First, recreating a research paper. You'll actually understand the models instead of parroting buzzwords like everyone else. Second, fine tune an open source LLM. Show companies that you can adapt models to new data. And third, build a RAG system or some sort of agent. Prove that you can ship real systems that mix software engineering with machine learning. Now, let's keep going because projects are just level one. Here's where most people completely fall off the pyramid. They build cool projects, but then their resume sucks. In just a second, I'll tell you why your resume still won't get interviews, even if your projects are amazing. But before that, there's something you need to understand about signaling. You can have the best projects in the world, but if your resume looks like a grocery list, nobody will care. Recruiters don't read, they skim for two things. First, keywords that match the job description, and two, visual proof that you can ship things that work. Let me tell you a story. One of my students, Jack, had insane projects. He built an AI summarizer and a full RAG system using Langchain, but his resume was just a dull PDF. After he reached out to me for help, we rewrote every single bullet point. For example, for one of his projects, we went from deployed an AI model for summarization all the way to fine-tuned BERT for abstractive summarization, achieving a 20% improvement in Rouge L, deployed via a Flask API with 50 live users. Guess what? Within a few weeks, he got multiple interview calls at top AI startups. That's the difference between writing about activities and writing about your impact. And here's the truth. Your resume isn't a biography. It's your billboard. You have about five seconds to make them say, holy shit, we need to talk to this person. So here's my three part rule. First, every single bullet point needs to show impact. Numbers, metrics, speed ups, users, etc. Second, every project has got to have proof, a GitHub link or a video demo. And third, Every section has got to be easy to skim, bold the keywords, and use short bullets. Inside my mentorship, we've rewritten countless resumes for ML students. And every single line is reviewed by me directly. We've had people go from zero interviews for months on end to getting an interview in just five days. But let's be real, a perfect resume won't save you if nobody even sees it. And that's where the next level of the pyramid comes in. Because in level three, I'll show you how to get referrals even if you don't know a single person that works in tech. Here's the truth. You don't need a massive network. You need a referral generation system. 
The truth is, most people network like NPCs, sending cold messages on LinkedIn. Messages like, Hey, hope you're doing well. Can you refer me? Bro, no one's doing well and no one wants to help a stranger that sounds desperate. If you want to stand out, lead with value. Here's exactly what I would do if I was starting from scratch right now. First, find engineers at companies you admire. It's better to network with an engineer than a recruiter because engineers are your peers. Second, study their open source repos or blog posts. Leave a genuine comment. Ask questions. Finally, in step three, send them a short DM, but don't immediately ask for a referral. Find something that you guys have in common, compliment their work, and then ask for a 15 minute coffee chat. That's when you'll ask for the referral. This strategy doesn't require any begging or fake small talk. You simply want to show them your projects and show proof of competence. And that's the hidden pattern you're going to start noticing. Everything comes back to proof. But there's one more more thing that most people screw up. They finally get interviews and then bomb all of them. In the next level, I'll show you exactly how to practice for interviews so you never freeze up when it matters most. Interview prep is where most beginners die. They do a few leak code problems, maybe a mock interview with a friend, and then they act shocked when the interviewer asks, walk me through your highest impact machine learning project. Let me be blunt. If you can't confidently teach your project, you don't understand it. That's why inside my mentorship, we don't just teach students to copy paste code. We focus on explaining projects and actually showing them off. It's called the second invisible resume, and here's how it works. First, you build a project that demonstrates real skill. Second, you write and talk about it publicly, either on LinkedIn or GitHub. And finally, you position it as a solution to a real problem that companies have. But even if you know all of this, you'll still struggle if you don't have accountability. Because when it's just you, the excuses start piling up. Oh, I'll build that project later. Oh, I'll just rewrite my resume next weekend. Oh, I'll apply after I build one more project. That is why you need the final level. Because level 5 is the single biggest differentiator between people who think they're gonna get hired and people who actually do. Let's be real, you already know what to do. You've watched enough YouTube videos, taken enough courses, read enough Medium blogs. So why don't you have an offer yet? Because information isn't your problem. Implementation is. When you're doing this alone, no one's calling you out when you fall off. No one's checking if you actually finished your project. No one's rewriting your resume for you line by line. No one's simulating interviews with you over Zoom at 10 p.m. on a Sunday night. When you work with me, that's exactly what happens. We've helped hundreds of students and engineers land roles at Amazon, AMD, and even top stars. Startups. Let me be clear, this is not a course. This is a mentorship program with full accountability. If you skip a milestone, we'll know. If your project sucks, we'll rebuild it together. And your resume, I'll rewrite it myself. And if you can stay consistent, you'll get interviews faster than you ever thought possible. Because here's the truth. Every single one of those success stories you've heard, they're not geniuses. They just had guidance and accountability. So if you're tired of feeling lost, tired of getting ghosted, tired of watching other people post their accepted and offer screenshots while you're still stuck applying, then click the link below and apply to work with me. We'll turn your potential into proof and proof turns into offers. Now, if you're looking for another video to watch, I have the perfect one for you. There is a massive shift in hiring that's happening right now and everything is about to change. In this video, I explain that shift and how you can prepare for it. Click this video next and I'll see you there.